Okay, so I have a continental belt, all right? And I also have a continental tension checker for the belt. So this is my first time using this tool. I'm gonna to show you guys how to use it. It's real easy and the instructions are very, very simple to follow as well. So what I've done is I just had to change some bearings on this. I put the pulley back on and now I've tensioned this kind of where I think it should be. Now I'm gonna check it with the tensioner to see if it's in between the limitations, the min and max, and see if I've got it right. So what we have to do here is measure from shaft to shaft. Now from shaft to shaft is 29 and three quarter inches. So on this tool here, there's a ring at the bottom. What you have to do is set that ring to the measurement you get. So the increments are spaced by tens. So I've got it at 30 because we were at 29 and three quarters. So 30 is basically as close as I'm gonna get so to now that. Now that the 30 has been set on the bottom O-ring, the top O-ring on this part of the, the tool needs to be set for zero. So basically we slide this O-ring down till it meets flush with this yellow piece right here. That is the next step. So the next step here is to push the tool onto the belt in perpendicular fashion like this. Now you have to go halfway between the two shafts. So 30 divided by two is 15 and I put my Allen key here because this is the midpoint of the belt, okay? It doesn't look like it there kind of on the video but trust me, I've measured. This is the midpoint right here. Now we're gonna go push the tool onto here. Okay, so I have some stuff set up here that you can see. This is my center line of the belt, this Allen key here. This one here is gonna represent my reference point, which is flush in line with this belt. All right, we don't have two belts here. If we had two belts, we wouldn't need this straight edge. But this straight edge here, when you look down, is exactly flush with this belt here. So what we gotta do is we have to put this tensioner tool at the center point and push on this rubber piece. Now this rubber piece over here when the bottom of this rubber piece meets with this reference line is when we stop. And that's the reading we take off of this piece here. We got a zero at first. I've just been playing around with it, but let's go try this out. So that gives us a reading of about nine. So let's check the chart. All right, so on this chart here, we come down to B, BX, because we have a BX belt, right? Next, our sheave or pulley size, we're in between here, okay? We're six, so we're in between this. So we want to come up to 1750 RPM. We're in between these two ranges, and we are a cog belt, all right? And we are also a used belt. So if we line that up, we have a deflection of 8.5 pounds. All right, so the instructions state that you wanna be in between the min and max, basically between the new and use. You wanna be in there somewhere. So with our reading of nine pounds, we are in between. We are closer to the used belt, but this is, this is a used belt. So it looks like we have tensioned this properly. If this was a brand new belt, we would go up to 12.6, and then readjust accordingly. But it looks like this belt is tensioned right, and this is what it looks like. That's it, guys. Happy HVACing.